<laughs> now this has been in look east this is a very important news does this sign mean anything to you are any of these signs in the highway code do we know what this means until you get a 60 pound fine through your door let me explain what this means through traffic for bikes, motorbikes, coaches and taxis and authorised vehicles, 75 yards traffic enforcement cameras. So you would not know what is this sign all about really. It's not a flashing light and it's not even near the road in question. But we're going to walk towards it now and find out what this is called. Okay? It's just an empty sign. Oh, I didn't even want to get like that. The road in question, that sign is for this road here. The bus has just come out of it. Another bus. A bus is okay. A bus is okay. It's okay for buses to go through here. Buses can do this. No problem. And people can do it on foot. They can even do it with a wheelchair. And the pram. But a car cannot go through here. Now there is a certain name for this. Can you tell me what it is? This is a new, new, new road where only authorised vehicles can go through. And it's on a railway track. And it's called a certain thing. Here are the signs again. N no. There you go, you've got free traffic and authorised vehicles. There you go, these are the signs you've got. It's funny, isn't it? When you get a £60 fine for going through it, that's even funnier. People can laugh, but this is a reality. People go through here and get fined £60 just for driving their car through here. It's no good. You get fined £60 for driving your car through here. Do you know what the name of this is called? It's, it's called a certain thing like a bus. It's a bus lane. But a bus lane, something else, isn't it? Yeah, it's because there's a certain name for it. Because loads of people have been getting nicked for driving through her, ain't they? Yeah. But taxis can drive through her and buses. Yes. And it's so easy to get led into this trap. There's so much traffic on the road. I'll give you my car when I finish my video so you can see what I'm making. Nice to meet you. Here we go. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. People agree with me. This is a railway line. And buses can go through here. Push bikes can go through here. And the only sign you get is that one I showed you, which is nowhere near here. And there's no signs here to say that you're not allowed to drive through here. There's still not a sign. So you would just drive your car down here and think, yeah, that's okay to drive down here. But then you get a 60 pound fine through the post. Taxis can drive through, look. Taxi, taxi. So this is the sign you get. It doesn't say that you're gonna get a 60 pound fine. All you get is this sign here. That sign there, that sign there. So we are here and we have got this part of the road and it's been on Look East. It is called a bus and taxi, but not a car, passway. See, he's a taxi, he can go. Taxi's okay. Apparently there's cameras here, and every time your car drives over this railway crossing, every time your car does that, you get fined 35, 60 pounds. And 
there isn't many signs to say that you're not allowed to drive through here. I will name this video what this is called exactly. It's a new word. It's like a bus lane, but not for cars. Look, buses can drive through. Cool. But cars can't drive through. What is the name of this? And guess what? I do think there should be more signs saying that you will be fined if you drive your car through here. Not just a picture of a bus, a taxi and a push bike. And then you've got to work it all out from that. To me, I want a big sign that says you will be fined if you drive your car down here. And this is why I'm making this video, because I do think that we deserve a little bit more notification that you will be fined 60 pounds just for driving your car over there. I mean, if you was gonna walk, if you was gonna trespass on the railway, you would get a thousand pound fine. And there's a sign that tells you that. There's a sign that says to you, warning, do not trespass on the railway. So there is a sign that tells you, do not trespass on the railway. But when you drive your car across here and you get a 60 pound fine, there is no sign to tell you that. Apart from when you get a letter through the post telling you that you shouldn't have drove through here. Now that to me is a problem. And I am calling for this part of Colchester to have a warning sign that tells you that if you drive over this railway line, you will be fined 60 pounds. And then everyone will avoid it. And then no one else will get fined. I do believe that people are getting caught out because no one really knows that if you drive over here in a car, like that car just did. That's a normal car. And he just drove over, the, over it. That means he's gonna get a 60 pound fine. But there's no science to tell me that, apart from that, that. Yes, it says no, no unauthorized vehicles, but it doesn't say you, you will be fined if you drive through it. So there's no warning. It's a bit like life. You're taking a chance. And a lot of people have had a lot of fines for this. And the sign that is right round here, way away from the situation, might give you more of an indication that you could be fined. But look how far you got to walk from where you would get fined. You would get fined there. And look how far away it is from this sign. So the sign I'm looking for is right over here. No signs there. And the sign that tells you that you might get fined, but it doesn't even tell you, it just tells you there's traffic enforcement cameras. It's all the way here. I think that this sign should be right on near the railway line. And then people will know that they're doing something wrong. And if people know they're doing something wrong, then people won't do something wrong. And that is my case. I am Danny Sluggett. I make vision all over the world. And I think that these signs should be nearer to the railway line to tell you that your car is not authorized to go through that gap. Shine on Danny Sluggett and we're gonna make real vision for the people to shine on every day and every night. Shine on.